a question. Where are we at with that old Sunrise building? I had a meeting uh, about two, three weeks ago. I had two individuals come in from DNR. Um, they took, went through the building, took some more samples. Um, they made some recommendations that um, that we're going to act upon as far as uh, securing the facility and means that the city can go about securing the facility a little bit better. So we'll be spending money on it ourselves? No, oh. I'm talking about securing it as far as preventing people from being able to gain entrance, Good. particularly kids. And then the um, uh, and then the other thing was is I'm waiting for a response back from them. They're going to their legal department to get um, a clarification on where they are against the property owner and to see what action they continue to plan on taking against them. So are they saying that, that we can't get the money from the, the owner of the building that there won't be any money available to take it down or whatever? Oh, I'm sorry, I said DNR. I mean EPA. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. I'll think of the EPA. Uh, the, um, what they have done is they, in the court case, and I'm speaking very generically here, they gave him three responsibilities to take care of on the property. One was to shut down the business, which of course was taken care of. The second one was to clean up the materials inside the building that were of issue. Um, DNR, or I'm sorry, EPA, was comfortable with the action that was taken on that point. The third point was to secure the facility. And to uh, and to clean up any lingering issues, he failed to meet that part of the requirement. However, he was able to present to them a, a uh, and the courts a um, a defense of financial inability to perform the action. Um, and so now, what DNR? I'm sorry, EPA. Keep wanting to say DNR. Uh, big week for DNR. Uh, EPA um, is going to go back and uh, determine if that has changed, whether his ability has changed or not. So none of that ground is contaminated? The, um, yeah. Their latest testing, and of course I haven't heard back from what they did a couple of weeks ago, but uh, the last testing they did was last year, and when they did testing last year there was only one area of, the, of any of the facility that they were concerned with. And that was actually some soil uh, outside of the facility. Um, but to express to you the degree of harm of which they saw, they believed an individual would actually have to sit there and eat the dirt for there to be a, uh, a significant concern of impact. That there wasn't even enough in the dirt to actually cause concerns about water runoff or uh, anything to that nature. Uh, that's what was communicated to me at the last meeting with them two or three weeks ago. What about the cement? You were talking to me about the cement inside. Well, that was one of the things I really didn't understand in some of the phone conversations I had had with EPA. They had presented to us that they would be going back in and doing some sampling to make sure that there wasn't any lingering issues uh, within the structure, uh, underneath the structure. Well, I was very confused on how would you be able to get under the concrete floor to take sampling of the soil underneath the ground of the building without in some way altering the structural capacity <coughs> of the building. They go through the drains, wouldn't they? Yeah. They, had, they have methods of doing this. Okay. Yeah. No, if, if he is exempt because of a financial strain that he's on and not being able to close up that building, is the city being this in our location going to assume that cost? Are we responsible at that point in time? Uh, if we would want to see it cleaned up, um, and Mr. Pat, it, we are we or them or both of us are unable to get him to comply, um, then it is a, a responsibility that the city may consider if they choose to. Are, aren't mm -hmm. there EPA funds available that affect there are about the three different cleanup fund? There are about three different types of cleanup funds that are out there. The facility has already been through the method of attempting to be identified as a Superfund location. However, it failed to meet the minimum requirements to become a Superfund um, facility. Um, we are looking, of course, now, and what they're recommending to us is if we do want to take um, the responsibility of the facility over, that then we would be seeking grounds filled. 
And um, the unfortunate thing about Brownsville money is, is that no matter how you cut it, there is matching on that, and we will assume um, a, a portion, and by a portion, I mean a significant portion of the cleanup cost, at least 50 percent. Based on what I've seen from what Brownsville covers, they'll usually do the pre-work for you. They'll cover that 100 percent, but the actual cleanup process. Usually, 50% is the is the max they will cover. What, what was 100%? The preliminary work. Okay. Um, a level one and a level two um, uh, testing facility. At least not financially stable now. And the city was assuming that cost could be passed those charges on to him when he is. I couldn't answer that without talking to Colin. You got to talk to Attorney on all that stuff. So if that building was taken down. Is that a contaminated building too? I mean, can that be? According to, <clears throat> I about said it again. According to EPA, uh, the uh, the facility itself is not a significant. It, well, I'll, I'll take that back. It's not a risk for contamination issues. Um, however, I will tell you that one of the things that they did notice was is that the building does have some mold issues. I, I mean, a building sitting empty, yeah. built during the time pine, the time of asbestos, any cleanup at that facility, you will have to do a special cleanup process because you're going to have hazardous materials involved in the cleanup process. So is there much asbestos there? Um, it, it was the opinion of EPA that when they were in the facility that they did see what they believed would be signs of uh, asbestos materials. My advice is to work with Colin and EPA and go slow and lightly. Boy, we've been doing this for years. It's just we don't get anything done. Man. Well, I was encouraged at the fact that weed. they drove <laughs> all the way up here from Kansas City with only one intent, and that was to meet with me and go through the building. Um, and then they turned around and went back the next morning. Um, so uh, as soon as they get something back from legal, I should hear back from them. And whether we want to hear it or not, at least we'll know what the next step in the process is. But keep calling 